Raw lyrics is a constitutional constituent When it comes to the first amendment To say what the fuck I wanna say And how I wanna say it with no chaser You on bitch control chasing that paper You a faker, an industry image real paper While you pout, I barely brace you With the hotness that I spit from my throne If you don't like my tone, then fuck you Tune into Raw Real Talk where we give you the real deal Where we keep it 100 with you at all times Now in this particular video we're doing two things. We are responding to a video and we're going to talk about and address some of the points of view that these black men were stating in this video. And the video is called It's a Man's World. Quit letting these bitches run shit. Dude, so they, they got a, a woman's devotion Bible. What the fuck is that bullshit? This is totally on a masculine vibration from the from the door. That's why, that's why they want to ban it. That's why they want to uh, try to reconfigure it and change the words in it to make it, uh, to make it uh, nicer. The Bible don't really speak too nice about women. When you get into it and read it, it don't really speak too nice about them. And that's, why we, and that's why we don't speak nice about their ass either. We call them exactly what the fuck they are. A bunch of motherfucking sluts and hoes. We call them exactly what the fuck they are. Yeah, we're going to read that. Go ahead, right, read that real quick. This is Exodus chapter 23, verse 17. Now, in this video, these black men were sitting on camera just demoralizing our black sister, calling them hoes, bitches, sluts, saying that they shouldn't be running shit. You know, and I'm going to get into all of that in a minute. But for a brother to be sitting on camera, it's an embarrassment for black men as a whole to be disrespecting their black woman. And then he has a Bible in one hand, preaching out of that Bible. My brother, my dear brother, think about this. Now, the black man needs to nurture his women, love his women, and teach her what he have learned as a black man, but belittling her with hatred. That is what the white man wants is for us as a people to turn against one another. Now, whether you want to call yourself an Israelite, a Muslim, or just a black man, that's up to you. But in the end, all of our eyes are watching one God. Now, the black man is a mimic of his black sisters, believe it or not. And some men are going to laugh and say, she don't know what the fuck she's talking about. You are entitled to your opinion. But at the same time, you got to think about why these black women are your sisters act the way they act. Think about it. If you had your shit on as tight as you want the world to believe, sisters wouldn't act the way they act. Now, everybody's responsible for their own behavior. But when you got a messy, a fucked up environment, and we don't have our black men supporting our black women, but yet and still you stand on camera and call them hoes and bitches, and they shouldn't be doing this, but yet you don't treat them as the black woman should be treated. Putting your sisters down to raise yourselves up is an embarrassment. You have every right to tell your sisters to love themselves more and be as blunt as you like. But the hatred is what I'm addressing. The hatred. Because I cuss all day long on my video. But when you have the intent and the hatred when talking about something, that's when the power is in the word. And the hatred in these brothers' voices just gave another notch in the white man's belt. Now, pounding the pavement to share your knowledge, to uplift our brothers and sisters is fine. And I have no problem with that because you got to get into the movement and do word of mouth with our brothers and sisters to raise our brothers and sisters. But how in the hell you think you're going to raise our sisters and knock them down at the same time? Now, you can score someone and discipline them. Now, I'm going to just take myself. If I was a prostitute and one of my brothers came up to me on the street and said, sister, you can do more with yourself than sell your body to the white man or to any man. Be at home with your children. Teach your children. Educate yourself. Educate your household. Because your household is no stronger than the woman and the mother that bears that child. So when you call in your women hoes and bitches with the hatred and the intent, mind you, that is what you're doing. You're breaking them down. And that's why they own a strip. Selling a pussy because of this shit right here. Now, this man pulled me to the side. Like I said, and said, sister, you can do better with yourself. You can respect yourself more better. You follow me? 
But if you pull me to the side and say, bitch, you don't need to be selling your pussy. You ain't shit. You a hoe. You just producing more tricks, more hoes, more prostitutes, and more women that's going to continue to bow down to the white man and to any man for that fact. Now, we got to talk about being humane and then being a man. You see, these are two different things. And, man, you can hold your strength. This is what I was talking about in my other videos. Men and people in general with the ego and the big dick trying to play God or trying to be above somebody else. That's what's going on here. And that don't make sense. Now, you don't have to demoralize your black sisters in that way to get your point across. Like I said, if you just cussing on tape and saying our sisters need to stop selling their pussies and these trick ass niggas, since he want to use the word niggas, need to stop buying a pussy, that's fine. But when you send up the saying, bitch, stop selling your pussy, there's a demoralization and a hatred in his voice because he already feels that men are above women. So therefore, the hatred is already checked off in his book. Why do you feel the black woman feels she has to sell her pussy on Craigslist or Bob's list or on the streets? Think about it. If any one of those brothers have a son or sons and he watches this video, these black men just set the tone for how they would treat their women and how they would look at their black sisters. Now, as far as men being above women, like I said, that's silly. It's your opinion, but it's a silly statement. These dear brothers hold a Bible in their hands that has been tampered with many, many times by the white man. But yet they stand there and believe every word in the Bible. You follow me? But to sit there and say every single thing in that Bible is true would be a lie. Now, of course, it takes men. And when I say men, that's a woman or a man or a person to pick out what fits them. Now, it fits him because he's a man. So therefore, he takes the word man and he turns it into God is just talking to men. And that's not true. God made both sexes. And I doubt it very seriously if he put the man over the woman. I'm pretty sure there's a reason why the woman carries the man's seed in her womb. Now, you got to think about all of this. And every man starts out as a female, believe it or not. Now, you're going to have some men that say, oh, that bitch don't know what the fuck she's talking about. You entitled to your opinion. But do some research on some things. And you have to understand why even a masculine man still have some feminine features. And we say feminine features. We're talking about the emotions that men feel only women or like they say bitches have. Now, I'm going to ask another question. Do men cry or men don't supposed to cry? Now, so if he feel his sisters are whole bitches, they just looked in the mirror and insulted themselves. Now, the intent and feeling is what holds the power in the words. Now, me personally, I don't get offended by words because men or women say bitch because bitch is just a word and nigger is just a word. But it's the intent and the feelings is what holds the power. So when the white man say you a nigger. Now we talking about the way he said you a nigger. You know the hatred that's behind there. Now we're going to address another issue. With them saying stop letting bitches run shit. Stop letting bitches run shit. Now think about that. What shit are you talking about? The shit coming out of their asses? Now brother think about what you're saying. And obviously you feel like the black woman has some power over you to make those redundant statements. Now, I respect your opinion. I respect the way you feel. We don't agree, but I respect what you're saying. Just like you might not agree with what I'm saying. But let us, as a people, love each other enough to agree to disagree, to respect one another. Now, you could say, brother, you know, that was fucked up what you said. You understand what I'm saying? But at least have enough love for your brother to shake hands after you do your little verbal bashing. And when I say verbal bashing, I mean, we just we all have feelings and moods that we're going through. And the fact that we are here at this point in America, this is not where our hearts are. It's not. We were born here, but our hearts lie somewhere else. 
And that's why we're so hurt as a people. And that's why our brothers are calling our sisters bitches and hoes. Because we're so angry with the white man that we hurt one another and that we disrespect one another. Now, if I as a person individually do some dumb shit, you pull me to the side and say, sister, I don't like what you did. Or you could say, well, that was some fucked up shit. But at the same time, give me that hug and that embrace that I know my brother's got my back. God bless.